Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. On a very sad day that I have to report that the White Sox season is over. <laughs> Yeah, we lost in the first round to the uh, Oakland A's. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Um, wasn't pretty. We won the first game, got out of the shoots great. 4-0 uh, victory in the first game. But then we lost the uh, second game 4-0. And, uh, or not for nothing. Uh, we lost the second game 5 3. We uh, had a bit of a comeback late in that game in the ninth inning, but uh, couldn't, just couldn't do it. And, um, and then we lost game three um, by the score of 6 4. Return the beer keg. Cancel the dancing girl. Ricky, in his infinite wisdom, took Dunning out after only two-thirds of an inning pitched, and so it became a bullpen game, and right then you knew we were in trouble. Because the White Sox do have a good bullpen, but um, that's really like kind of overall, but on any given day, they can self-destruct, and they did do that in Game 3. So, um, particularly in the fourth inning, where they gave up four runs, and uh, because they got out to a 3 nothing lead in the third game. They were winning 3 nothing, and then they gave up four runs in the fourth, um, and were losing 4-3, and then they came back to tie it at four, but then the A's, um, an inning or two later, got another, tacked on another two runs. And that was it for the White Sox season. Now, um, I suppose if we want to look at the uh, glasses half full, we can say that the White Sox, you know, this was the first appearance for the White Sox in the postseason since 2008. That's looking at the glass half full. Um, and, um, you know, I mean, there were some things working against us, you know, Kopech decided to sit out the season. Uh, we had some injuries. Lewis Robert, you know, as noble an effort as he put forward this year in his first year, he was a rookie, and so he was learning on the job, and he will continue to learn and grow and get better. Um, but um, it just wasn't to be. I mean, it just wasn't to be this year. Uh, but we have a very good team going forward. I'm pretty excited about our chances in the coming years. Um, so this wasn't a bad, like, arrival year for the White Sox, I don't think. So here you got um, a little chart I put together of our season. This is the White Sox 2020 season, a little recap of it. Uh, our regular season record was 35-25. and 25. Our playoff record was 1-2 and two against the Oakland A's. You can see the offensive stats here. You can read these. But, uh, you know, you got Tim Anderson hit 322 with 10 homers. Tim Anderson, man. Great year by Timmy. Um, 21 RBIs, 5 stolen bases. You got Nick Madrigal. Nick Madrigal in his first full season playing for the White Sox, or as full as it can be. I mean, he did injure his, uh, I think he injured his thumb at one point in the season and missed some games. But he hit 340 with a 376 on base percentage. Scrappy little player. Love him. Then you got Jose Abreu. Jose hit 317 this year. And 19 home runs. 19 home runs. Can I just tell you that 19 home runs would be a decent season if you played a 162-game season? But no, he played a 60-game season and had 19 home runs. 
and uh, 60 RBIs. 60 RBIs in 60 games. He averaged an RBI a game. You got Eloy Jimenez hit 296, 14 home runs, 41 RBIs. Lewis Robert, rookie year. Uh, he did have 11 home runs and 31 RBIs, though. He only hit 233, but, you know, the batting average will come up. He'll get there. Uh, James McCann hit 289, 7 home runs, 15 RBIs. Now, uh, we had some guys that were underwhelming that we expected more of and we did not get, like Encarnacion hit under 200. So, um, you know, some minor glitches here and there. But, uh, you know, overall, good offensive team. Pitching, we had Lucas Giolito at 4-3 and three with a 348 earned run average. He was our staff ace. Dallas Keuchel, though, was 6-2 and two with a 199 earned run average. I guess he could contend for ace of the staff. Maybe even walk away with it with those kind of stats. Uh, Alex Colome was 2-0 with an 081 earned run average. Then you got Aaron Bummer, who was 1-0 with an 096 earned run average. And Evan Marshall, who was 2-1 with a 238 ERA. So, lots of good stats there, lots of things to hang your hat on. Again, we had some free agents that didn't do that well, like uh, Gio um, Gonzalez did not they really didn't have that great of a season. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll put it together next year, hopefully. Um, but you had some up-and-coming rising stars like Dunning appeared on the scene and Crotchet appeared on the scene. Um, I still think, and a lot of White Sox, I see a lot of White Sox on Twitter that say this, a lot of White Sox fans on Twitter that say this, we really need to replace Ricky Renneria at manager. I mean, we're good now, we've arrived, let's turn the reins over to a good manager. We, who knows, we might have won the, that game, this, you know, the third game of the series, if it hadn't been for how Ricky managed. And, you know, coming down the stretch, he made some, well, all season long, here and there, and I pointed him out in some of my past videos, he made some questionable decisions. He's too, first of all, he's too pitcher happy with the bullpen. He just falls in love with the bullpen. You can't do that. We have good starters. We have Giolito. We have Keuchel. Um, we have, you know, next year we're going to have Kopech. He's going to be a great starter. Um, we have, um, you know, I don't know what happened to uh, the guy we used to have. I can't remember his name. Um, he probably sat out. Anyway, his name escapes me. But next year, Rodon will be healthy. These guys are a good pitching staff when they're healthy. Um, so you got to let them pitch. You can't be, you know, Captain Hook with, with the starting staff that we have. Ricky overworked the bullpen all year long. Probably that showed in the series against the A's and uh, could have been a key factor in our downfall. So next year we're hoping for better. If Ricky's the manager, I just hope he gets smarter over the off season. I mean, that's all we can do. But I still think he needs to be replaced, but let me know if you think that. If you're a White Sox fan or you know a lot about the White Sox, think, let me know if you think that that's what the problem was and that he does need to be replaced. So, you know, needless to say, this is gonna be my probably Last White Sox video for a while, um, until the off season gets rolling and we get into the hot stove league and uh, the White Sox go out and hopefully acquire some more talent. Um, although I would say we're, I mean, I think we're there. I think with the guys we have, we're there. You know, um, Grandall signed a, a pretty extensive contract, the Braves under contract. We got a good team. You know, we just need to Put it all together, have some guys come back and play, um, and uh, that you know that decided to sit out, you know, and just put the whole thing together and make a run next year. 
which will hopefully be a regular year of 162 games where fans can actually go to the stadium and watch games. So, uh, what did you guys think of the season? Um, you know, disappointing, yes, a little bit disappointing, but not really when you consider that we've come off, um, you know, 12 years of not even making the playoffs. So, I would say that, you know, all things considered, it was a good season. You have to take the good with the bad, and, uh, and you have to be happy about steps forward, and I think we did that. So, those are my thoughts on the subject, but I want to hear yours. So, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you're stumbling through, you're a White Sox fan or a baseball fan, and you just happen to come across this video, um, you know, give a, you know, a subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so that you get notifications. Uh, when I put up a new video, I have all kinds of stuff I do on the channel. But like I say, this is probably going to be the last White Sox video for the for quite you know for a, a few months until the off season gets rolling and things start happening with the uh, with the rosters. So that's going to be on that note. I'm going to say that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.